Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I will present a final project entitled a Review on Home Concrete for Building and Craft that presented by me, Muhammad Shafiq Bina Sarudin, from Bachelor of Science on Applied Chemistry Faculty of Applied Science UITM Aropolis. This project is supervised by Encik Muhammad Yas Ahmad. This is an outline uh, for this presentation that consists of three parts, which are introduction, literature review, and conclusion and recommendation. First, we look at the background of study. Foam concrete is a cement mixture that blended with a bubble or foam that produces a cellular structure when it hardens. Foam concrete has a several advantage compared to ordinary concrete, such as environmental friendly, high flow ability, good heat insulation, good fire resistant, low self weight, and good sound insulator. Now, we we'll take a look at the problem statement. Ordinary concrete is a building material with high concrete strength and almost construction industry. However, this ordinary concrete is unsustainable due to poor insulator properties due to lack of cellular structure, heavy self-weight that lead to increasing construction costs, and also it need high amount of cement due to high greenhouse gases emission like carbon dioxide during combustion process. The significance of this study, we know that foam concrete offers more benefits over normal concrete, but it has a limitation in terms of strength that can offer to a construction. So that in this review paper, we discuss about the changes of materials that used to create foam concrete in order to investigate their impact toward its properties and application. Now we take a look on the objectives of this. First, review the component use in a foam concrete, to study the process for creating foam, to identify the physical and mechanical properties of foam concrete, and then to examine the functional of foam concrete characteristic. Now, we take a look in the first part in the literature review, which is uh, foam concrete materials. In order to produce the best foam concrete, the researcher have conducted a survey on the type of basic materials that have been used, such as uh, forming agent, binder, ag aggregate, and water. First, we look at a forming agent. Forming agent is a substance that will interact with the cement slurry and causes the four produce mixed together and become a uh, gas liquid mixture. This forming agent is important because it will affect the distribution of pore. In order to understand that, there is a research has been carried out. From the table, CTEP and OP10 will produce even bubble but unstable. For SDS and HP, it produces steady bubble and will not easily to fracture. Now we look at a binder. Binder is a substance that used to combine the aggregate water and foam to become a cement mixture. In foam concrete production, Portland cement is a binder that always been used because it promotes high corporate strength. However, it has a limitation such as slower hydration process, need high temperature to solidify, and cause the building take a long time to solidify. Because of that, this uh, research has been conducted in order to investigate the, the impact of modification towards Portland cement by adding different additives. Looking at the table, only sun fiber stock ash will increase the hydration rate of cement, but maltodextrin, sugarcane bagasse, and biochar will increase the corporate strength, and the sulfur trioxide will decrease the drying shrinkage problem. Now we take a look at uh, aggregate. Aggregate is a geological substance that gives a concrete construction its corporate strength. In foam concrete production, small such aggregates such as sand have been used. Besides, there are also other modifications have been done in order to improve uh, the physical qualities of foam concrete by using a variety of aggregates. For quarry waste, it increases uh, compressive strength and also thermal conductivity. For biomass aggregate, it also provides high compressive strength in 91 days that faster rather than sand. For polyvinyl waste, by adding 51.45% polyvinyl, it increases compressive strength and also improves the bending performance of foam concrete. For the glass fiber, it helps to reduce drying shrinkage and also raise the compressive strength. For manufacturer sand, 
can improve compressive strength of full concrete by 60%. Now we take a look at the water. Water is an uh, important component to mix all materials with cement to produce a uh, cement paste. The research state, uh, if the water cement ratio is below 0.35, the materials will not mix well and the bubble produced will easily to break. Uh, and uh, if the water cement ratio is exact 0.5, the materials will mix very well and the bubble will retain without, uh, without break. If the water cement ratio is above 0.35, the research state the cement paste uh, will become too liquid and it cannot hold the bubble so that the bubble will break and the cellular structure will not develop. From that, uh, we can conclude uh, 0.35 is the uh, optimum value for water cement ratio. Now we're going to look at uh, metal producing foam. Metal producing foam is very important because it will affect the stability and the strength of the foam. Uh, the method of wet foam and dry foam, we can look at the table. Uh, but the most important thing is uh, the characteristic and foam stability. Uh, for the wet foam, uh, the size of bubble is uh, uneven distribution, while dry foam uh, it uh, produce a uniform distribution of bubble. In terms of stability, wet foam uh, bubble is not stable and easy to fracture, while dry foam bubble is stable and not easily broken. Okay, now we're gonna look at our physical and mechanical properties of foam concrete that consists of dry shrinkage, water absorption and permeability, compressive strength and tensile strength. Now we take a look at a dry shrinkage. Dry shrinkage is a contraction phenomenon due to the loss of capillary water from the cement mixture. Uh, this crack can cause the building become unstable and may collapse so that there is an enhancement of the material have been done to reduce uh, drying shrinkage by adding uh, additives such as fiber that will retain and slow down the evaporation process and reduce the drying shrinkage. Based from the table, uh, what we can conclude is uh, pulverized fly ash, uh, fly ash and lime and silica fuel uh, not help to reducing uh, drying shrinkage problem while sand, carbon fiber, and metallic fiber it helps to reduce a drain sinkage problem. Now we look at uh, water absorption and permeability. Absorption is the uh, ability of a drain agent for concrete to absorb water, while permeability is a parameter used to measure amount of water that can absorb by a uh, concrete foam. The water penetration can damage the building structure because in a building, there is a reinforcing steel in the middle, so that uh, when the water keep in touch, uh, the reinforcing steel, uh, it will undergo rusting process. So that uh, the researcher have a solution uh, about that by using a water repellent. Okay, now we look at uh, mechanical properties of foam concrete, uh, which is uh, compressive strength. It is important because compressive strength is a mechanical properties that measure to determine the resistance of foam concrete to a uh, compressive force. Therefore, there is a method to measure the compressive strength of foam concrete by using a universal testing machine. Now we look at a tensile strength. Tensile strength is a mechanical properties that are measured to determine the ability of foam concrete to withstand a tension force or flexural strength. It is important because it helps to decide whether foam concrete is suitable to use as a building floor or substrate uh, at a layer road pavement. Uh, for the method testing, it is uh, quite similar with the compressive strength but it applies a different concept because the foam concrete will be placed uh, like a horizontal position and the load will be applied until the concrete undergoes no bending. Now we look at a uh, function of foam concrete characteristic. Foam concrete has a special function that makes it excellent for building construction such as its thermal resistant, fire resistant and resistant to aggressive environment. Now, we take a look at uh, thermal resistance. Uh, this characteristic is function to ensure there is no heat loss and heat gain uh, to pass through the building. Based from the researcher, the ordinary concrete have uh, thermal resistance by 20%, while the foam concrete have 35%. The researcher also have uh, doing some modification substance and stated there is 10% of perlite and also adding some propylene fiber will help to reduce the thermal conductivity of foam concrete. 
So we take a look at the fire resistance. This characteristic will help uh, full concrete expand and break at a low rate when it exposed to the fire that save the situation so that the fire victim had time to save themselves before the building collapsed. Other than that, researcher also made some modification of some substance and state that uh, polystyrene particles are not helping to increase the fire resistance of foam concrete. But by using uh, aluminium oxide and calcium oxide and also hydraulic cement, it's able to make a foam concrete stand with a high temperature at 1450 degrees Celsius. Now we take a look at a resistance to aggressive environment. The sustainability of foam concrete is dependent on the condition of the area. In the water, the researchers state foam concrete uses natural forming agent is suitable for construction in water. This is because natural forming agent is not toxic compound. This compound will help the reproduction of fish in that area by becoming a source of food for benthic communities such as plantain that will be food for the fish. In the city, uh, researchers state that foam concrete has a drawback in area with a high carbon dioxide level. This is because the carbon dioxide from environment will be fused into the concrete and damage the reinforced steel in the middle uh, of the concrete. However, the researcher has a solution to overcome this problem by using a nano-modified composite coating that will protect the concrete surface from carbonation occur on, on foam concrete surface. Now, we look at a conclusion and recommendation. For the conclusion, STS and HP is suitable because it was able to produce a more stable foam bubble. The modification of substance gives various effects towards foam concrete. Dry formatted is better to produce foam. Drying shrinkage and physical water absorption properties will damage the produce structure. Compressive strength and tensile strength will determine whether a foam concrete is suitable to use or not. The special features of foam concrete make a building able to conserve energy, safer and able to survive in any weather and condition. For the recommendation, the researchers are suggested to increase the study on the method of cement mixing and its ratio in the production of foam concrete. Last but not least, the researcher also advised to increase research on the types of foaming agents and topics related to chemical leaching from foam concrete. That's all from me. Thank you.